All right, so in this particular reaction, 6.0 moles of NH3 were produced. How many moles of H2 and how many moles of N2 were reacted to produce this amount of NH3? So the problem is saying that 6.0 moles of NH3 was produced. How many moles of N2 and how many moles of H2, both of our reactants, must have reacted to make that 6.0 moles of NH3. So this is a moles to moles stoichiometry problem. So we're going to take the 6.0 moles of NH3 and we're going to convert that by using a conversion factor to moles of H2 and also, we're going to do that exact same thing to calculate moles of N2. So, let's do the first problem. Let's convert to moles of H2, or find out how many moles of H2 must have reacted. So, we're starting with moles of NH3. So, to get rid of moles of NH3, that's going to be on the bottom of our conversion factor. And we want moles of H2. So, moles of H2. It's going to be on top. So to relate moles of H2 to moles of NH3, we look at our coefficients. For H2, the coefficient is 3, and for NH3, the coefficient is 2. That is our relationship. For every 3 H2s that react, we're going to get 2 NH3s. So in our conversion factor, for every 2 moles of NH3, we're going to get 3 moles of H2. So we're going to multiply 6 by 3 halves. And that gives us 9.0 moles of H2. Let's do the same thing for nitrogen, for N2. So we're starting with 6.0 moles of NH3 again. And we want to convert that to moles of N2. We want to get rid of moles of NH3. And we want moles of N2. We look at our coefficients. The coefficient for N2 is 1, because there isn't anything there. And then again, for NH3 is 2. So those are what we're going to use for our conversion factor. For every 2 moles of NH3 that we produce, we must have reacted 1 mole of N2. So to solve this problem, we're going to be multiplying 6 by 1 half, or essentially dividing by 2. That gives us 3.0 moles of nitrogen that must have reacted. So in this problem, 6.0 moles of NH3 was produced. How many moles of H2 and N2 must have reacted? 9.0 moles of H2 and 3.0 moles of N2. All right, everyone, if you want to see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.